I do want to take a moment to say to each and every one of you, I don't care if it's your first time or your thousandth time tapping on. You are connected to so many people that love you. The, the craziest conundrum of it all is that sometimes you just can't hear it all at once. So you may not feel like the love exists sometimes. But so many people love you and will miss you if something ever happened to you. You just don't know it. Not even for them. The younger you is proud of everything that you've done and accomplished thus far, if no one else is. I don't know who needs to hear that, but if no one's told you that you're beautiful, you are. Y'all, I heard that Liam passed, and I, we finna get into this video. It's spooky season. Oh, boom. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But no, like, on some shit, like, not even on a bandwagon. I became a fan of One Direction in, like, the end of ninth grade, 10th grade. I remember it was a band right after them some Australian boys. I was like, knock off, you know? Never really got into NSYNC, never really got into Backstreet. The Backstreet Boys, never. but girl, One Direction, but they had a hole. I remember Drake said, but I'm not putting up One Direction numbers. We're not gonna act like that. I'm black as they come and them girls was from Britain. I wanna say to the family of Liam, absolutely nothing. <laughs> they said he was a monster and an abuser. Girl was finna put out a book about all the abuse that she didn't experience with him, girl. Then his team gonna reach out to her and tell her, ooh, this would not be good for him. He doesn't need this right now. Girl, the fuck? Somebody abusing me and beating the shit out of my motherfucking sister. She finna drop a book, bitch. And you wanna go do some motherfucking coke down in Argentina? Run around tearing up them folks shit. They got tearing up them folks shit. And then they gotta come in there behind you and clean that shit up. Seeing how they done did, did it, girl. Yeah, all y'all boys that done did the girls back. Y'all finna get it with girl power. I'm all for the girls. Wasn't even my favorite member. But the loss of a life is always tragic, no matter the case. And a lesson from that, you could seem to have everything. And when your mind is not right, you can do something spontaneous. It'll be the last thing you do. I don't want you to do that. Don't let that be an, he was an inspiration to many. Don't let, don't, don't let that be an inspiration. Don't jump. I seen a tweet. It said, what's one of Liam Payne's recent, latest hits? <laughs> Somebody said, the concrete. <laughs> Stop, shut up. All right, let's get started. In the spirit of spooky season, my baby. You know, I just did a video um, a couple of days. Well, to y'all, it's going to go back to back. But about um, a supernatural experience I had. And I guess I misunderstood what um, supernatural means. You know, to me, turning out a whole bunch of boys in one night, single hand. Superpower. No, 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 no. I want to hear something scary. No, like, do y'all want to hear something scary? This? Get in close, girl. I feel... I, 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 I could be wrong. I feel like there's somebody on the West Coast watching me right now with no socks on. Yeah, go put some on. I'm not gonna be able to do the video. Nasty. <laughs> this is by far one of the scariest moments of my life because it was the first time that I felt something happening to me and no one was there. 
Tip pack, relax, get your snacks, take your brother, take your sister, take your cousin, take your dog, take your uncle, take your auntie, take your nephew. And tell that boy to keep on hitting you up, but he really not talking about nothing. All he's saying is what you're doing, you block him. Block him. My upbringing was that of strict scripture. I went to church every Sunday, twice on Sunday. Morning service, and then the later morning service. Went to school, I wasn't in gangs. I wasn't here, you know, do, do doing too much, but I, I was raised to believe in spirit. I had never really believed in ghosts. I think the oh, the first time that I can remember really kind of low-key, low-key for real, believing that low-key we are not alone on this planet was when Paranormal Activity dropped. Girl, y'all remember when Paranormal Activity dropped? Nah, she had her time. She, pro, good promo. They did their promo run for her. Bitch, Paranormal, the real one, not the makeover, the, the funny one. Girl, the real one. You know, I just wasn't really always, you know, just gullible. I always just, who texted me? I just always felt like, you know, girls is just gullible. It was the senior year of high school. I had gotten in trouble every single school year. After the first grade, from the second grade to graduation, there wasn't one year that I didn't get written up, sent to the office, suspended. You know, like at least once every single year. Like from second all the way to 10 years straight. Decade fucking shit up. Girl. So, you know, all the trouble I was getting in, it led up to senior year, 12th grade. Do I got any? I love the babies. I do. If I got any high schoolers watching, um, congratulations on making it through the, the first three years during your senior year. You're hopefully finna go to college. Hopefully you're gonna study something and make your mama proud or your guardians proud, whoever with you. But me? I didn't believe that I was gonna go to college. I did not believe they was gonna accept me because, girl, I got expelled 10th grade and 11th grade back to back. Like I was getting suspended every year, but then 10th grade, I just, I did it, girl. So I didn't really believe that I was going to go to college. So like, you know, when you raised in a black house, of Southern black Baptist church, I mentioned the church thing because like church and school in the black community is linked. If you went to a real black church, nine times out of 10, there was some academic program or some incentive to the children of the church. Y'all need to go to school and get good grades. Like, it wasn't you coming from teacher. It wasn't you coming from, girl, they had like a whole ceremony. If you got all A's and only one B, all the kids, they meet up in like the library of the church. We had a big church. And girl, you can pick like stuff at the time. Like, girl, I was first grade. So girl, I remember CD players being on the table. <laughs> girl, giving CD players to first graders. <laughs> And we was living. And they take you on a trip. Like, it, it just make you want to go to school and just air right. So, you know, senior year is coming around. Like, you know, a lot of seniors, like, I don't think many, I didn't, I never dreaded senior year coming up. I was ready for it to be done. High school for me, girl, those people should have never been able to see me that many times in a week. That many people shouldn't even have been able to say in they real walk in life that they ever saw me that much. Not those people out there. High school had me stressed out. I even tried to join the baseball team. Oh my God, did y'all want that story? My parents, I thought I was gonna join and hit a home run, get a scholarship. They just, all the mother black boys was sport academic bitch in full bride. It was testing coming up. Um, Senior year, you take certain tests. I don't remember the letters, but it was some a bunch of letters, like three of them. Something, something T test. Or a, a VSAT, EGRAT. And I had never heard of the term, I'm gonna share it later in the video, but I had never heard of this term up until this, like, I never even seen nobody talk about it, so I'm just completely oblivious. You know, we're all just the weight of, am I gonna go to college? Am I gonna get accepted? Am I gonna graduate and be able to live on my own? Am I gonna be a loot? Like, you know, all these thoughts, they're real ones that you, everyone has. After high school, bro, like, what? Like, oh my God, like, what's gonna, I was, just starting to link up with the boys, like, woo, so girl, my mom wasn't even all the way right, girl. I should've been worried about college application. And girl, I'm on Jack, busting it for the nearby. One evening, I came home. My folks had cooked a real good Southern dinner, pork chops, cream style corn, roll, green bean, with some mashed potato, girl, and a big old country tub lemonade. You know, getting home from school was cute. I changed to the business that had to make y'all shit, girl. I ain't good. I remember coming home from school. I hadn't probably heard no emails back from none of the colleges I had applied to or reached out to. I'm just like, and then we only probably had like a month and a half left of school. Girl, what you gonna do? Oh yeah, some of us got their acceptances earlier. Early. No girl, I was a buzzer reader. Damn, on the last week they called me back from Kentucky. Come on, come on. <laughs> 
I just didn't want to be bothered. You know, I would come home instantly whenever I would get off the bus. Girl, I would instantly either have to pee or go straight to the bathroom. I swear to God, like, I would be good. A whole day bladder good. I think it was because I probably hated the school bathrooms for real. I could really just naturally hold it all day. But as soon as I get home, it's like as soon as I went through the front door. Girl, just run sit on the toilet. Sometimes I don't even shit, girl. Just sitting on my phone. Hey, I'm here now. But girl, I came home. I remember I ate good, girl. It wasn't nobody really that I think she had cooked. And left it out for me, so like, I came home by myself. I, remember I came home, girl. I don't know what was going on, but I didn't go to my room. My granddaddy rest his soul. I went to go uh, chill in his room because that's where the desktop computer was. Like, yeah, so I'll be back there probably on that, you know, woo -woo for a little minute. But his bed was still in there. And mind you, by tenth grade, girl, he was dead for like eight year, ten, nine year. But you know, you know, just you know, love this room, kept it the same. We never really changed it. I'm in there, girl. You know, after you eat a good, 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 good southern meal, girl, you know, sleep will find you and just, just knock you out. It'll just it'll tap you on your shoulder for a little minute. You'll try to ignore her, and as soon as you turn around with miss sleep, boom, done. So girl, I went over there and I got in his bed, girl. And I don't know if this has something to do with with what happened. Oh, right there. Remember, I wanted to just lay down. I just got sleepy out of nowhere. And I laid down in his bed, you know, wrapped up in a, in a nice little quilt. And I remember, I was so gay, girl. Would never play this kind of music around people. But when I got by myself, girl, I, I remember, I remember the song that was playing, girl. Ariana Grande, Piano. I can write a song on my new piano. I can sing about how love is a sh narrow. Ooh, oh, my heart is not high. So oh, many of the bitches that don't know how I bump, I bump. Ariana used to get me through my day. <laughs> Miss Grande, where you at? Well, I'm going to sleep and I'm in between that weird awkward moment when you close your eyes and you finna go to sleep, but you're not really asleep, you're just awake. And girl, I remember the house was still quiet. All the lights was off. It was just the subtle, I think my brightness was on like 20%. And I had my um, earbuds in. And I was just laying down, just falling asleep. Next thing I know, I'm the kind of crazy bitch like I could lay there trying to tell myself to go to sleep for about 30 minutes, be up the whole time like, bro, go just still up thinking with my eye closed. But girl, I bumped around today, and and I was just laying there, and I remember, man, I'm not asleep, bro. I'm finna get up, go give me some. Ooh, I couldn't move. I'm laying in that bed, and I said, "Oh God!" Like I, I I said, "Oh God!" Like I tried to move, like that's the sound I was hearing, and then I had noticed, bitch, I couldn't talk. Y'all, it hit me with a combo, girl. All the dialogue was coming from inside my head. I'm like, why does this sound like I? I'm choking, but I don't feel like I'm choking or nothing. Next thing, and mind you, my eyes are closed. Like, I don't even have the strength to open my eyes. Like, I was frozen. Y'all know the feeling when you're in a room by yourself and your back is turned to the door? Now, unless y'all are just lacking some skills that I must have got blessed through my really black southern genetics. Oh, baby, I could feel when somebody walk in the room. It's hard to sneak up on me like that. Just feel the wind change. I just know how I can explain it. I'll just feel the wind shift. <laughs> I felt a presence into the room, but I didn't hear no feet. I'm trying to lift my legs. Every, if, to best describe it, every time I would lift my leg, it was almost like I was in a box that gave me half of a centimeter a room. So like, you could kick as hard as you want, but it feel like you kicking the top of a box. Like, <laughs> Like, I can't get out. All I hear is Ariana yelling in my ear. I'm like, girl, help. I, I, it started feeling like there's wind, like somebody has a, a bunch of tiny handheld fans that y'all be having in the club. It felt like, it was like a bunch of them just all over my back because I was laying on my stomach down with my head to the side, girl, like this. It registered to me that I might be dead as fuck right now and this is what it feel like. And I was having that moment, I was like, oh shit. I'm probably like really finna leave this word right here on this bed. Like, okay, well, I'ma just chill. <laughs> I remember I let go after about five minutes of literally struggling fight. I probably look so slow. I just said, fuck, <laughs> fuck, I stopped for a second and then I said, you know what? No, 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 no. We not just gonna die right here, girl. We know, cause I don't know what's going on. I'm scared. I don't, nobody around. Why is going on, girl? I just wanna get up. And it's just the the sound of wind is getting louder, but there's no fan on. I took my arm, girl. I remember I, everything in me, girl. And it felt like something had let me go. And I had got my arm free, but as soon as I got it free, vroom, right down to the side of me. Oh, hell no. Girl, I am possessed, girl. I should have let that gay shit go, girl. The devil done got in me. I was like, oh, girl, no, there is something, there is something in here. I am not tripping. Like, bro, something just pulled my breath. I remember I stopped. 
started trying to yell, girl. And that's all I was hearing. Ariana just sang through three songs. Now we on tattooed heart. I just let go. I remember I said, fuck it. Like, well, well, whatever. I laid there for maybe another probably three minutes. And then out of nowhere. <laughs> silence. And I moved. And I could move. I have felt like when it has stopped, bruh, I am going to scream so loud. But when it has stopped and I sat up on the bed and looked around, I didn't see no point in screaming because I'm like, okay, I guess I'm okay, but that was not okay, girl. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and I was sitting there, I was like, should I scream now? Ah! Like, I'm really sitting there like, scream, bro. Like, that was not no. <laughs> I just sat there, girl, and I ate it. I don't Google, girl. I was Googling, like, my body couldn't move for some real going on. Going through, I'm screaming, you know, Google it, how you thinking, girl. Why are you thinking, girl, you need to go ahead and call the bell off and all? Don't go to Google. Don't, don't, don't go to Google. I'm scrolling, I get far enough, and I see uh, somebody talk about, like, some about, I think it was on Reddit. They was talking about sleep paralysis. I got to read some of the stories, and people was explaining the same thing I was saying, but they were saying, some folks were saying that they can, like, see stuff. Like, their eyes was open when it happened, and they seen something big in the corner and was coming at them and couldn't move. That's a different kind of torture. I would've held my breath and knocked me out, girl. When I found it out, you know, I was like, what? Girl, some of the underlying causes was stress, hurry, not enough sleep. I was a senior, well, I was, and it just all started, you know, I could pin stuff together for myself quick. I was like, uh, throughout probably that last month and a half, it probably happened like four more times. Bitch, by the third one, I'm in the nucking Casper. Get off me. I get out, woo <laughs> I fought with her, no shit. I, it was like sometimes you would just feel it. Like you, would be, I would be scared to go to sleep after that, girl. Oh my God, is that why I became a nighttime entertainer? Ooh, are we unpacking? I used to be up all night with y'all, girl. This was around the time I was in high school, girl. I was scared to go to sleep, for real. And I would get up with all of y'all. I think y'all, those are the greatest years of my, well, not the greatest, some of the greatest years. It slowed down after I got accepted into school. Sleep paralysis is a real thing. If you've never experienced it, you're one of the lucky ones. Anyone that watch these comments, I bet somebody out there know. It is one of the scariest natural occurrences. Like, it's not even a health issue with you. Like, it's really just, it, it'll get who it gets. You really won't be able to move. See, I used to believe, and we finna wrap up here. I used to believe that paralyzed folks, people in wheelchairs and stuff, they was lying. Get up. Stand up real quick. In my kid mind, every time I want to walk, I just right leg, left leg. Like, it's not that hard. Like, like, what you mean you paralyzed? You can't move. But no, the paralysis, 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 that's why the paralysis is in the sleep because it's the level of paralysis. And girl, I am so sorry to all the paralyzed folks that I used to stare at, at church or in school or at, at Walmart, girl. And I just be looking at them like, liar. No, they really couldn't get up, girl. Paral you really can't move. Like, it's so annoying and, like, it's just nothing's gonna happen no matter how much you think to move it. It's just not gonna move. Like, that paralyzing is real. I learned that being paralyzed is real. Them folks is not playing in them wheelchairs. Like, them folks cannot get up. <laughs> all the other time we have here, girl, I didn't mean to freak some of y'all out. You know, I like to keep it, you know, soothing. I never wanted nothing like that to happen again, girl. She, I thank God that that's over with. Let me know in the comments if you've unfortunately ever had to deal with that. And what was your experience like? Like, did it get, did it get visual with you, girl? Boy. Remember to love yourself and be yourself. Unapologetically, baby, I'm begging you, be you. And remember to carry yourself like royalty, because if you do that, these folks are going to have to respect you. Until next time. From Hushabai Mountain. Hushabai Mountain. That is a real song. Somebody go Google Hushabai Mountain. Gently. <laughs> it's October, right? Hushabai Mountain. <laughs>